guys, Captain Jimmy here. We are out here on a cold, blistery January. Well, not blistery, ain't no wind, thank goodness. Not yet, anyway. Uh, January morning out here. We just got to the reef. Um, a lot more baits out here than normal. I guess these folks don't have jobs or something. Uh, so we're kind of putt putting around. We're going to find a piece of structure I want to fish. We're going to get our drift. We're going to hang that anchor, which is the most important thing with sheep's head fishing. We'll make a video and talk a little bit more about that. Um, but we're going to get this thing hung up and hopefully show you all some black drum, maybe a bull red, and definitely some sheep's head. <laughs> oh, whoa. Guys, I was getting ready to tell you we're over some concrete that I found out here. We're near one of the public drops and was kind of getting ready to drop anchor and uh, had to uh, make a quick adjustment on the fly and uh, ended up hitting it on the first try. We got lucky. Um, I'm already getting frayed up a little bit. We're gonna let that ride for a second. Brett's over here missing fish. I already put a sea bass in the boat. I, I just threw a sea bass back there. Yeah, actually. I'm betting you did. Did you get it on camera? I guarantee you'll be No, if it didn't happen on camera, it didn't happen. It's 2020. Accountability, Brett. Guys, I know I've showed you this before. Always hook that filler diddler upside down. I also like to break off the claw. So on the descent, he doesn't come up and bite that main line right there, or your, excuse me, your leader, and just hold on to it and you miss a bite. That's just how I do it. Talking about. I'll have these make a couple of minor adjustments on. Uh, I don't think it is a sheep's head. No! The albino sheep's head. Little sea brim. Got teeth like a sheep's head and they nibble like a sheep's head. They eat pretty good too, but we're not going to keep this one. We're going to let it grow. They actually eat very similar. Similarly, right? Similarly? Is that a word? To the sheep's head. Uh, but it's not a word we're doing it now. But it's really good white meat. So if you guys are just trying to load up on meat, put him in there too. My bins don't do well with loose underwear. Um, Why is there no sheep's head? But they're all on the other reef. All on the other reef. Guys, what I did there is we're not catching sheep's head. So I kicked back five or 10 feet. A lot of times that can make a difference. One unique thing that we have going on today is that the wind, well, it happens sometimes. The wind is stronger than the tide. So our lines are actually kicked toward the bow of the boat. And I always talk about placement of the boat in relation to the structure to be on top of the fish. I always like to be on the down current side, so that's just another something that's going on when you're gotta keep in mind when anchoring, is now you're coming on the front side. Normally you can lock in and drift back and get on the down current side. Now if we wanna get on the down current side of that piece of structure we were just on, we'd have to go up, just kind of backward. Good meat in there. Take this and fry it whole. No wasted meat. The marrow adds flavor. Really, oh, look at that. Barely had him hooked. Get a good look at them chompas. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> that. Yes! Nice. 
sushi out of that guy. Okay, you gonna get still of it? What's up guys it's Chris uh, we're just gonna do a quick voice over here for the cooking portion but what we're making is a jalapeno citrus salsa over a pan seared sheep's head super easy get an orange a grapefruit a jalapeno some cilantro and red onion and you're just gonna segment the grapefruit and the orange by just literally taking like small pieces and making sure there's no pith and you add it to it. No specific amount. I used one orange and one grapefruit for two people and it was more than enough. Um, next thing you're gonna do is thinly slice a jalapeno, chop up some red onion, and then chop up some fresh cilantro. And then the next thing we're gonna move on to is pan searing the fish. Just gonna pan sear this sheep's head a couple minutes on each side, a little salt, a little pepper, and olive oil over like a medium high heat, really easy. And here's your finished product. Looks delicious and tastes delicious. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and like and subscribe. See you on the water. <laughs> 